Welcome to getting started with NetSuite. This video covers navigating NetSuite. In this video, we'll cover navigating the home dashboard, centers, tabs, and menus, and working with the dashboard portlets. Let's navigate on our home dashboard, which is identified by the house icon. This is generally the main dashboard you see when you log into NetSuite. We'll navigate from the top of the page downwards and start on the right-hand side. You see your name, the name of your account, and your role, which was assigned to you by your administrator of your account. From the Change Role menu, which was discussed in the Logging In and Security Best Practices video, you can switch between roles that have been assigned to you, so that you can do different jobs based on those rights and permissions. Within the Change Role menu, you also have the Sign Out link, which you use when you are ready to exit NetSuite, or you could just simply close out of your browser. To the left of your name is the help link, and this brings up contextual help for whatever page you are on. To the left of the help link is the Create New menu. This menu enables quick access to create a new record for the types you access the most. Just select the record you want to create, such as an event, customer, or a sales order. If a record you access frequently isn't an available option, select the personalized link at the bottom of the Create New menu. On the New Bar Setup screen, you can choose what links to include or not include in the menu, and you can also move the links around to place them in the order you prefer. In this example, I'll deselect Bill and select Case. When you are done, click Save to record the changes. Now you can see that Case has been added to the menu. To the left of the Create New menu and in the center of the header is the Global Search field. This allows you to search for just about anything in that suite, such as a customer, a transaction like a sales order or an invoice, an item, or any other NetSuite record. In this example, using a customer search, you can view the customer record in view mode, access the record in edit mode, or view the customer's dashboard. You notice that you can only see the edit and dashboard options when you hover over the record in the list. This is called progressive disclosure and is present throughout the application. Progressive disclosure means that when you move your mouse over areas of a page, the links, menus, and icons that are appropriate for that area appear. Moving down the page, you see several menus, also called tabs. To access the menu within the tab, just hover over it. You'll notice that on a menu that has several choices, like the Reports menu, there is a caret at the end of the list. This caret enables you to scroll within the menu. Subsequently, there is a caret at the top of the menu when you have reached the end of the list. When you click on the Menu tab, it brings you to the Overview page for that tab. This is similar to your home dashboard, where each overview page is a dashboard for that menu. Returning to the home dashboard, let's go through the standard tabs everyone sees in their account. Starting from the left, the clock icon indicates recent records and provides a menu of up to 12 of your most recent records accessed. You can click any record in the menu to access the record in view mode. If you prefer to view the record in edit mode because you need to make updates, hover over the record and click edit from the sub-menu. If you click the All Recent Records link at the top of the menu, you'll be brought to a list of more recent records, which includes details about what type of record it is and when you last accessed it. Now let's look at the menu represented by the star icon. This is your shortcuts menu. I like to think of them as my favorites. You can add any page in NetSuite to your shortcuts so that you can access it more quickly. It can be a search, a report, a record, or a process page, like an authorization page. It's best practice not to have too many shortcuts because having a long menu defeats the purpose of being able to access the menu items quickly. To learn more about setting up shortcuts, view the Getting Started video on personalizing the home dashboard. Moving to the right of the home menu are different menus associated with the tasks that you perform in your role. The activities, reports, documents, and support menus are standard to every role, although the options within the menus might be limited by your role permissions. Some of the menus are related to your role. For example, I'm logged in as the administrator and I can see the transactions and list menu. The group of menu tabs that you see in your role is referred to as a center. The administrator role uses the classic center and has no other choice of centers. If I change roles to switch to another role assigned to me, let's say the sales manager role, you will see a different set of tabs. This role is based on the sales center. There are several different default centers available, in addition to administrators having the ability to create custom centers and custom roles. 
The idea of a center is that it groups records and functions together in ways that make performing your daily tasks in that role much easier. So instead of the generic transactions and list menu we see in the classic center, in the sales center we see leads, opportunities, and customers which makes working in a sales oriented role easier. For any role that is not the administrator, you can choose a default center view that comes with the role, or you can choose the classic center view that the administrator sees. To do this, click on the Home menu and select Set Preferences. Then navigate to the Appearance sub-tab and check the Use Classic Interface box. Click Save to record the change. Now that we're back on the Home dashboard for the Sales Manager, you can see that when I chose a different center, in this example the Classic Center, all the menus are rearranged. You still have all the rights and permissions associated with your role, but they are organized a bit differently. I've switched roles and am back as the administrator on the home dashboard. It's important to mention that all the topics covered so far are part of the global header. What's efficient about the global header is that it will always be anchored when you roll vertically on any page, as well as the navigation menus will always be accessible. I have one last topic related to the global header before moving down the page, and that is the term responsive design. Responsive design detects your screen size and orientation and changes the layout accordingly, which is useful when you're using smaller screens and tablets. So while scrolling vertically is unavoidable, we want to limit the amount of scrolling you do horizontally. If you have several navigation menus and centers, an ellipse will appear, which can be called your overflow menu option. So when you hover over the ellipse, a drop-down menu appears for all the subsequent menu choices. Now, moving below the global header, you see the portlets that make up the home dashboard. Each of these windows is called a portlet. The portlet provides different views into your information. Think of your NetSuite dashboard like a car dashboard, made up of different gauges that provide information about your speed, engine temperature, or fuel level. Like your car dashboard, the NetSuite dashboard provides the critical information you need about your company and your work using lists, reminders, charts, and graphs. You can customize your dashboard portlets to show you the information you need most. Portlets are selected from the personalized link located in the top right of your dashboard. This is also how you see the portlets you currently are using or reselect a portlet if you were to remove it. Once selected, each can be configured to show your preferences. Portlets require some setup so that you see exactly what you want to see and how you see it in each portlet. Hover over the header of the portlet to access the setup menu. The setup is different for each type of portlet, so take your time and explore each option available to you. Portlets can be dragged and dropped into any one of three columns. From the layout menu, determine your dashboard layout. You can choose from four options, two columns with the narrow column on the left, two columns with the narrow column on the right, three columns with the wide column in the middle, or one column. A two column layout is recommended. However, if you decide to use the three column layout, the minimum screen width is 1400 pixels. If you want to move the portlets around, simply drag and drop them. You'll see a target area where the portlet is going to land. The portlets can also be minimized or maximized and you can do this by clicking on the header of the portlet. If you need to refresh the portlet, click on the refresh icon. Or if you want to remove the portlet, access the setup menu and select remove. Going back up to the top of the page, we see the viewing portlet date settings, also called the dashboard view filter. This is used when you want to set comparisons of all your key performance indicators, meters, and report snapshots all at once. Lastly, let's review the settings portlet. It is unique in that you are not able to remove it, although you can minimize it and move it around. This portlet provides access links to personalize your dashboard, set personal preferences, change your email or password, update your security questions, and any other permissions based on your role. To learn more about customizing your dashboard, view the Getting Started video on personalizing the home dashboard. This concludes the Getting Started video for Navigating Not Sweet. We covered how to navigate the home dashboard, how to navigate centers, tabs, and menus, and how to work with portlets. Continue your learning by watching the Navigating Records and Forms video in the Getting Started series. Thank you for completing the Getting Started video for Navigating NetSuite.